everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name's Heather C. Thank you for joining in Thrifty Thursday with me um, and checking out my thrift haul. Now, not all of this is a thrift haul, of course. Some of it is from Dollar Tree. I've got something from Amazon. I've got two packages here from... Um, one is from Peachy Cheap. I'll get on into that. But to me, these are thrifty goodness because I feel like I've gotten good deals. So let's go ahead and before we get into Peachy Cheap and the other package, let me talk about my Amazon haul. So the other day I was ready to do all kinds of videos. I try to do my videos on Saturday and try to plan them ahead for the week because uh, my week's so hectic. And um, I had the house to myself. It was just a very quiet day. And so I was doing really well until I decided to sew something to go in a journal. And I needed to thread my sewing machine and <laughs> my sewing machine okay it does not like me but i've got bifocals and so I, i'm at that age where it's hard to thread the needle so i had one of these and it had broken so i was like well i can throw a thread it myself you know and i've tried that before and i usually do I don't know what it was that day, but I sat there and worked on it until sweat was pouring off my forehead. I was so frustrated. I could not get it threaded and I could not find this one. I knew I had another one, but I could not find it. I couldn't find my sewing kit. My clothing sewing kit is what I'm meaning. I've got a drawer for all my sewing stuff for crafting here in my craft room, but I knew I had a sewing kit somewhere that had another one of these in it. I thought, could not find it. Come to find out I'd brought it in my craft room and put it somewhere, you know, somewhere you'd never forget, where I would never forget where I put it, but I, I do. <laughs> I do that a lot. Oh, okay. Anyway, so I'd sat there for so long trying my best to get that thing threaded. Could not get it threaded. And I got on Amazon and I ordered some needle threaders. Now, I went with the cheapest one that I could find. Although, I think I could have gotten some more like this, uh, and it would have been cheaper. But they're so easily, you know, messed up that I wanted something a little sturdier. So, I thought I would try these. So, I bought this set, and it is, it's a 30-piece set. Now, I don't know if I'll ever in my life use all 30 of these. But this was the smallest set I could find. And it was $3.69. And I've got Prime, so uh, the, the shipping was free. Now, I've never used these, so that's going to be interesting. But I don't know if you can see. If Let me see where my camera is right here. Am I focused? I don't know. But it looks like... A little hook on the end so I got it out today while I was slow stitching yes I've started a slow stitch journal the just because journal I've started one of those and I was trying to sew in some seed beads to hold my sequins down oh, let me get my page here this is my first page and listen y'all I have not done any kind of stitching for probably 25 years, 24 years. So this is a mess. Please don't judge. <laughs> but anyway, I had fun with it. And um, I'm going to sew the book together after I get a few more pages. I don't, I like the freedom of just, you know, the one page or the one piece of material. 
But I was trying to sew these seed beads on to hold my sequins in. And it takes a really small needle to get through these seed beads. And so I was like, well, I'm gonna try these out. Y'all, this little tip won't even go through that little needle. And it said, these said that they were for all needles. Luckily, I was able to thread that needle. I mean, it just went through, so that was good. And it wasn't embroidery floss that I used for the little needle. It was actual sewing thread. But yeah, that's another project. Well, I don't know why I flipped it over and showed you that ugly side, but <laughs> that's another project for me. But I think these will be fine for the sewing machine. I really do. I have yet to try it out. Now, while I was ordering that, I had been looking at a stamp set, and I've gotten some really good deals on stamp sets lately. I got a stack from uh, Dollar Tree, and that was before my Dollar Tree had turned over to $1.25, so I got them for a dollar a piece. They're in a Thrifty Thursday, a past Thrifty Thursday video, and I got... Uh, I think I showed in last week's Thrifty Thursday my Bow Bunny Mega Pack that I got of stamps for a really good deal. So it's hard for me to pay more for a stamp set after I get good deals like that. But I've been wanting a label set to be able to stamp labels, my own labels in whatever colors. They had two that I was looking at. This one was $8.50, the stamp set it is, and it, it comes with the acrylic block. And so, I mean, there's quite a few labels there. And then that way I can stamp my own labels and use my words from my other stamps. So I got that, and that was my Amazon haul. The stamp set and the lifetime supply of needle threaders. Oh, and listen to this. This is what's funny. After I ordered my Amazon order, I came back into my scrapbook room, opened my sewing door drawer that I had been looking through for, you know, all morning, Guess what I found peeking out from some of the threads? Yeah, you guessed it. My backup threader. So if you hear me say in my videos, in my thrifty videos especially, that I've already got one, but I'm getting another one as a backup, you know that I'm the type of person that has to have a backup to my backup. Yep, that's me. Let me get another drink and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so next up, I was able to get on Peachy Cheap again and get the Mega Pack number two bundle from Peachy Cheap, and they are the Bow Bunnies. So I got this pack for $14.99, and it was $18.98 after shipping. Six packs of Bow Bunny stamps. Bring that down a little bit. I've already looked through these, but I wanted to just see. The Bow Bunny Sentiments with Love. Okay, there's a couple of labels, but they are a bit bigger than what I wanted in journaling. And I had already ordered these anyway. I'd ordered these anyway, so you can see the size difference of the stamps. Okay. I got just my top stamp. Now this is so neat. And then what you can do with this stamp is stamp the typewriter and then in this place right here, you can put all these sentiments. Just wanted to say, uh, miss you, PS, just my top, just a note, I love you, hello. I miss your smile. And then I could also do like thanks and grateful. And then this hello, which is smaller. The with love would fit in that. 
And there's friendly greetings. So we've got a hashtag, an at symbol. Good luck, just because, thanks, good vibes, sending hugs, smile, love you, and um, enjoy, celebrate, get well soon, hello friend, make a wish, hi, forever, friends forever, thinking of you, yay, good vibes. I got a layered bouquet. <clears throat> These will be fun with all my different colored Stampin' Up! stamps, I think. Forest Friends, which is, they are just adorable. They're adorable. Is that supposed to be wind, though? Do you think? I've got a little... I, my first thought would be li a tree, but I guess that's a leaf because of the size. And here's a leaf. But really, if we used it alone, I could use it as trees. And then I've got my um, truck from Stampin' Up. I could make a cute little scene there. But these little guys are so adorable. Deer, fox, rabbit, bear. I'm... I just, I think it's wind. Wind blowing the leaves, maybe? Oh, well. And then this one, Jars of Love. This is adorable. So, this was the Mega Pack number, um, the Mega Pack 2 from Peachy Cheap. Now, a day or two before that, I had gotten on Peachy Cheek, and listen, if it's the kits, I'm not interested in the kits. They're gorgeous, but I have got so much paper and stickers and things that I've hoarded. I've kind of cut myself off from paper packs and things for a while, for a little while, until I get some of this stuff used up. So, I don't... Really, I mean, I get excited when I look at it, and I'm thinking, oh, those are so cute. It was about dogs, I know. Yeah, it was some kind of dog. Um, so cute, so cute pack. Paper pack and stickers and things to go with it. And I thought, oh, that would make the cutest little dog journal. And I'm wanting to make a dog journal, but I've got a stack of papers and stickers for dogs already and how many dog journals can a person make and so <laughs> I was like no 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 but that day that I got on there and there was a kit and I didn't want it if you scroll down on their page they've got a link to peachy planner deals and I got this for $9.99 and then after shipping it was $13.98 and comparable to the things that I've seen on Amazon, it was a pretty good deal, I think. There's 16.2 ounce jars of embossing powder. Now, it doesn't look the best. It looks like one of them is, the lid's not screwed on very well because there's some embossing powder in the box, loose. Not a whole lot, just enough to make it, you know, gritty looking. Um, but I think I got a pretty good deal, and this was from the Peachy Planner deals. So, let's see what it looks like. There's something on this one. They're, they're not glass. Uh, little jars. So, maybe one of them's busted. I don't know. We'll see. But that it's a good selection of colors, I think. Sixteen colors. I'm wanting to start using uh, more 
magazines in the collages that I do for my trash or for anything. And I found these. I found several, but I weeded it down to the two to just get me started at Goodwill. They were 99 cents a piece. I think that there'll be some nice pages in here to do things with. Uh, I love anything flowery. And then I thought this was cute. Uh, big ideas for small spaces. So there's a lot of like... Um, interesting little like the little houses and just a lot of interesting pages like that so I got those at Goodwill for for the 99 cents and then I went to another Dollar Tree. This one's in the town over from us, and it's my favorite Dollar Tree. I wanted to see if they had changed to a dollar twenty-five, like the one in my town had. And so I went in there. I pulled up, and I was pretty excited because they still had dollar posters on the outside. But I go in and everything's $1.25. So, of course, I'm very selective now. Usually, I would have had three bags. <laughs> this time, I just had the one. And the only reason I got this is because I have the other two that I got the last time I shared Dollar Tree. Um, and I... I didn't see these with the colors, and I thought these were pretty, and so I gave $1.25 for these, just because I had the other two. What is wrong with me? I don't know. Let me see if I can find the other two real quick. Yeah, right here they are. From my other home. See, I'd already gotten, already, I'd gotten these two. So, when I seen this one, I was like, well, I've got to have that. And then I saw another one, I think. I'm pretty sure there was another color. And I was like, nope, I'm not looking no more. Not getting no more. Nope, that was it. So I got that that one pack of stickers. Then I got this. I finally found, I finally found the spatula. Now, if you're following me, you know I got this the other day uh, before they turned to the dollar. 25. I got that one for a dollar. And I wanted so badly to get this color. But no, couldn't find it. And then later, after this one, I found this. So I'm excited now that I, I think I've got the whole set. I think. Let me know if you know that if I'm missing something still. I'm pretty sure I, this is it as far as their set goes of this type stuff. All right. I got some more white acrylic paint. Now, the Dollar Tree closest to me, they always have white tempura paint. And um, I'm always looking for acrylic for my crafting. I like this to mix in with other acrylic paint to make it lighter. Because the Dollar Tree paint is, you know, it's pretty thin. I got um, some new brushes. I wanted some different tips for my watercoloring. So, especially these two right here. That one looks a little wonky now that I'm looking at it. But that wasn't the one I was interested in. It was the other two. Let me open these up and see. And it was going to be a while before I got to like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And uh, I seen that, this one, and I thought, well, I'll just get it. I don't know what is going on with this. There's something in it. But it's these that I was wanting. These two. Yep. Number six round. Number six, angular. 
number two shader. Okay. Hmm. So I got those. And what else do I? Oh, yeah. All right. This is, I thought this was so funny because the other day I was sharing something that I had gotten from Five Below. And it was also the episode, <laughs> the Thrifty Thursday episode of mine where I was complaining about the Dollar Tree going up the 25 cents. And I had spent $2.25 from, um, um, five below to get these stickers, which there are four sheets. And I was like, Dollar Tree doesn't have anything like this. These are so cool. And I, they would be great in my trashy. And by the way, I do have a, I do do, I do do, I do do trashy videos on Tuesday. Looks like there's two just like. But anyway, it's like Dollar Tree don't have anything like this. And then I go into this Dollar Tree, my favorite one, remember? And look what I found. These ribbons, they're so cute. I'll take that Dollar Tree. You got me there. But I bought these for my trashy. And you can come and watch my trashies on Trash Trash Tuesdays if you're interested in that. But that's what these are for. Um, super cute. And I felt very chastised, humbled. <laughs> surprised I don't know um it's like there you go Heather that'll teach you for bad mouth and Dollar Tree ever again <laughs> oh goodness hey we have fun here don't we crafting that's cute The ribbon is really nice, okay? Now, there's some things at the Dollar Tree that is junk, you know? But a lot of times the ribbon is really nice. Okay, did I get anything else? Oh, okay, I did get this. Now, this is my own nasty one. It's got gesso and stuff on the inside. It's not dirty. I've cleaned it. It's just stuck on there. I needed another one of these to help me out with my uh, watercoloring and things. This is what it is. The We by Yoplait um, yogurt. I only treat myself to this very, very occasionally. It's very good yogurt. I love it, but it's too expensive. Um, so I, I get it when I need a new glass. <laughs> and to me, that right there is like, okay, get a little nice glass for your watercoloring or your gesso, and as well as a treat within. <laughs> inside of it. Yep. So, that's it, I think. Um, let me show you. This is my trashy book. Again, I do this every, every Tuesday so far. I'm hoping to fill it, you know, fill it up this year. We'll see how it goes. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. And it's fun, very fun. And that's what I got these for, all that. Thank you so much for joining in. Be sure to check out my host, uh, her channel, Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. 
Thank you, Sherry, for hosting Thrifty Thursday and for letting me join in. Um, come back next Thursday. Hopefully, I'll have more thrifty goodness. If I don't next Thursday, then check back regularly because I should have thrifty goodness at least once or twice a month. Because I love to thrift and, you know, I like to shop for crafting goodies. So, thank you. Bye-bye.